Hey everyone, welcome to another video with me, Mikey Bears, and today I'm going to show you guys how to broadcast on UNOW using OBS or Open Broadcaster Studio. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you are um, you are either using Firefox or Google Chrome, because those are the two that I use and they seem to work perfectly fine for me. And you're going to want to make sure they're fully, completely updated to the new versions of Firefox or Google Chrome. After you've done that, um, you're going to want to download OBS. If you already have it, then don't worry about this part. But if you don't have it, I'll have a link in the description of where you can get it. And uh, this is basically the Open Broadcaster Software website. You can either get OBS Classic or OBS Studio. I use OBS Studio, so in this video I'm going to be using OBS Studio. So I'd recommend doing OBS Studio. I used to use Classic, but um, I just switched to OBS Studio and it seems to work fine. So. So uh, after you've gotten that downloaded, installed, and everything, you're going to want to open that up and uh, put that off to the side. So we're going to go back onto you now, and you're going to want to hover your mouse over your um, profile icon at the top right. And you're going to want to go to settings. Click on settings, and I'll show you um, a screenshot of my settings. I, I censored my settings so you guys don't get my personal information but your eyes won't be censored so don't worry about that those black bars won't be there um, as you can see at the bottom you're going to want to scroll down to the bottom but you can see at the bottom it says stream URL and stream key you're going to want to copy and paste both of these because um, you should paste them in a text document so you can have them like on file on your desktop they're easy to you know access and uh, once you've copied those save that to your desktop and because um, you're gonna need them so after that you're gonna wanna go back to um, you now and then at the top you're gonna hit go live so once you go live once again the sensor bars will not be there I just censored my stream key because you're not allowed to give those out to other people so make sure you never give out to your stream key to anyone else um, as for the URL, URL I think they're all the same I don't think it matters but I censored it anyways so you're going to want to copy those where it says URL and key. You'll see that right there um, under the third uh, little tut command thingy. It, uh, this is basically like a little guide that they give you before you broadcast. Um, in order to get to this, um, this um, little screen, you're going to want to hit that uh, little setting icon. It's right by the microphone volume. It'll say advanced options. You click on that and then there are the uh, option where it says external um, device so click on that and then this screen will pop up um, so after you've done that you've copied and pasted the your stream URL and your stream key in the boxes right there on um, on you now you're gonna want to go to um, OBS so I'll show you that right now so leave your web browser up you don't have to exit out of it just minimize that for a second and you're going to open OBS. You're going to want to go to File, Settings, and then over to Stream. So when you go to Stream, you're going to, the first thing you're going to want to do is Stream Type. Set it to Custom Streaming Server. After that, copy your Stream URL. I know I have mine right here. I don't think it really matters, but so copy the Stream URL and then the Stream Key from you now onto here. Let, uh, click apply and then you're done with that don't check anything like this so I don't think it's necessary then go to video as you can see on video um, you're gonna want to change this output scale to the recommended best performance that they show on you now so the way you can find this is that the the screenshots I showed you earlier let me show you that again real quick so the screenshot on this one as you can see that um, it it'll be on the second line where it says set the video size to 640 by 480 this is for the best performance because um, if you change it to HD settings it, it says you might have increased lag or buffering so I suggest using 640 by 480 that's what I use and it seems to work perfectly fine so I'll show you how to set that right now on OBS so go back to OBS, 
file settings and video tab you want to um, set this resolution to the output scaled resolution right here I have mine set to 1920 by 1080 but um, you're gonna want to set yours differently that's uh, I didn't set mine for you now for the 1920 by 1080 my you now one that I use is the best performance one that I just showed you which is the um, 640 by 480 I think or something like that so you're gonna want to put that right there in this box not the not the base resolution but the output resolution as for downscale filter I would leave it at the simplest one which is the first um, setting I can't click it right now because I'm using it to record uh, using OBS to record and then um, as for common FPS values I put mine at 60 it seems to work perfectly fine you could put yours at 30 I don't know if it makes a difference but you can give it a shot and you know just kind of like mess around with this if you want um, so after that click apply and OK you're done with the OBS settings after that get your um, you can start setting up your little setup right here with like if you want to record like gameplay or if you want to um, stream game a game like Minecraft like I do sometimes um, you can get it all set up and then what you're gonna want to do don't hit start streaming go to um, <clears throat> go to you now again and hit go live so um, well you should already be in the broadcasting so at this page you should have left it at there um, so then once you're there and you had your stream URL pasted on that page along with the stream key pasted on that page so they're matching both OBS and the web browser you're gonna you you just hit your settings like your tag or whatever and then hit prepare broadcast after you've hit prepare broadcast go back to OBS which I'll show you right now let me just go back okay so go back to OBS and then hit start streaming after that after you've hit prepare broadcast on you now and then go back to OBS and hit start streaming your stream should now work it'll say stream has now begun give it a second if it doesn't say that yet it kinda takes a little bit to connect but once it connects you'll see that it says um, now streaming or something like that it will not show your video the reason for this is to reduce lagging so you don't want to lag while you're broadcasting so you will not see your video it'll give you a link to click on on you now um, to see what your stream looks like just to see if it's working but after that you can click out of that that extra window tab so you're not lagging and then um, after that you should be good to go and um, that's it guys I hope you guys have a nice 4th of July and a nice day and I hope this tutorial helped you if it did leave a like really help me out and give me some feedback if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below I'll have the links in the description especially the link for OBS and you guys have a nice day later guys